Welcome, everyone. This is the introduction to our Python Language Basics series. In this tutorial, we'll go over the Python language characteristics, a few notes regarding Python, we'll create our very first Hello World basic program, and then we'll lay out the roadmap for our future tutorials in this basic series. Python is a high-level, general-purpose, interpreted, dynamic scripting language that supports OOP. Let's go over some of these Python characteristics in detail. High-level languages have strong abstraction, meaning it is closer to how humans speak or pseudocode than other languages may be. General-purpose languages are used in a wide range of ways. Interpreted languages typically execute instructions directly without previously compiling a program into machine language instructions. Dynamic languages typically execute code at runtime and do not require type and size declarations. Scripting languages are often interpreted rather than compiled and often can be used to create code quickly to accomplish tasks. And as we mentioned, Python supports OOP, which stands for Object Oriented Programming. And OOP is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects where collections of data or categories of things are stored in classes. Classes typically consist of methods and data with characteristics in common. The classes are then used throughout the program in a variety of ways, including the ability to store data, modify data, create objects, and other functionality. A few notes regarding Python. There are two major versions of Python being used today, Python 2 and 3. Python 2 is still very widely used. However, for the most part, in these tutorials, we'll be using Python 3 and specifically Python 3.5. Spacing denotes scope in Python instead of curly brackets, and we'll show you how that works in our future tutorials. To create comments, the long comments are created using quotes, and you can use single quotes or double quotes, like this. And the short comments are used using a hashtag or number sign, like this. And that applies to strings as well, as far as the, the quotes go. You can use single quotes or double quotes when creating strings. For more information on Python syntax style, check out the Python PEP8 style guide for Python code on the python.org website. Let's go ahead and create our very first basic Hello World program. Let's pull up print, and we're going to use single quotes, Hello World. Let's print this out, and we get our very first Hello World program. Our future roadmap for our Python Basics tutorial series include variables, strings, numbers, bool, logic, math symbols, basic operations, if statements, functions, lists, dictionaries, sets, tuples, loops, and classes. That's our introduction. Join us for our future tutorials for our Basics series. We'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.